Use the guns. Ladies and gentlemen. Boys and girls. It is rifle season. We got all that orange. Oh, I'm so excited. We got some good spots picked out. There's a lot of pressure on the neighboring properties this year, which there hasn't been in the past. So we're excited to go uh, shoot some things. So let's go check it out, huh? See you in the woods. Let's roll. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time. I just heard the first shots of the day. And we're ready to rock and roll. Dad's gonna just make his way over to my stand and we'll see what happens. Gotta be ready, it's gonna happen quick. All right, it is 10 a.m. I am fueled up with food, thank you, mother. Delicious and ready to rip. Everyone else uh, taking a nap, so solo mission for this guy. I'm gonna go get in my stand on Swampland and hope that buck walks by. He was on the camera four times. All of them were midday except for one, so here's for hoping for big things. Hopefully I can get in my stand and then other people come out of deeper in the public land and just scare all the deer to me. Hopefully I have a date with the big buck. So I'll see you guys in my tree stand.
monster. He's not a monster. But I got him up, baby. I only saw the one and he was walking right to Maryland and I shot him. Sorry, honey. I didn't, I didn't realize you guys were out here already. <laughs> I'm still trying to text you a picture of where you guys need to go walk. Oh, you guys, I got one. I finally put him down. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I don't think I got on my camera over here, though. I just pointed the camera in that direction and I took my shot, so. But he should be on top of that hill, because I didn't see him run. I just don't remember where now. Yeah, I was, if I was looking this way, and I almost didn't turn around, he would have walked right to her. So, he's not a small one, but I don't know how big he is. I hope he's going to have a camera. He's probably 40 yards on, in those weeds. Yeah, almost directly to him, yeah. A little more to your right, maybe? Right in there? Yes! Woo! How little is he? Oh no. All right, so I'm here uh, transferring files over from today's hunt and realized I didn't uh, have anything to wrap up the day. So we already went, we went to the bar and got all the stuff taken care of, buckboard, free drinks, things like that. It's a good time. But uh, yeah, this day was exciting. It was fun. Seen quite a few deer, had a lot of encounters, uh, and got myself a buck. And that's the most I can say about it. I'm happy. I'm glad I shot a deer. There's been plenty of times where you pass up deer opening day or whatever, and then you never see a deer the rest of the rest of the time you're hunting. So I'm glad I got one, and I can't help but be disappointed when I have all those mature bucks on camera, and I didn't get one of them. But I got a buck. I'm still happy about it. Uh, it did trick me. That's what I've been telling people, is it shrunk when it hit the ground. <laughs> um, but I only had... As you could tell in the video, I only had seconds, like split seconds, because it was between a lot of trees and in a thicket and trying to get the camera stuff going. I only got one good look at him from the side, and it's hard to judge a deer by the side view. I thought it was I thought it was a nice eight-pointer, and then the, sec, the last second that I seen him was the last chance I was going to have, and I decided to just pull the trigger. Like, I, I could have passed on him, and... That could have been a different story, but I took him. I'm happy I took him. And now it's time to help everyone else get some deer. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to designate the walker the rest of the season. Um, with the group hunting laws in Wisconsin, if I see like a, like a once-in-a-lifetime buck, I can still shoot him. But um, probably won't, won't do that, so... <laughs> you can stick with me. I'll definitely have other people's kills on camera. That's going to happen. I'll be filming. I'll be out. Still going to hunt. Eight days left here in Wisconsin. I really hope I can get Maryland's first buck on camera. That would be so cool. So that's my goal now. Uh, she only has tomorrow morning, and then she has to go back to real life for a few days until Thanksgiving, um, and then we'll be back out. But I'm a designated walker, so I'll be scaring deer to people the rest of the season pretty much. And uh, I hope I can bring some more kills for you guys. Uh, we did a one walk today, and I saw some does, but that was it. But we'll definitely do be doing more here down the stretch. So you'll be getting a lot of head mount GoPro views on for from here on out. Uh, I'm gonna leave, like I said before. I have I've said this a couple times, but leave my cameras out for like a week or two after rifle season and I'll check the cards. And if any of these monsters are on there consistently during the daytime period, I might pull the bow back out, but otherwise, otherwise this is going to be done after rifle season. So we got eight more days, probably 
an episode a day, hopefully. If they are exciting enough, I will absolutely do that. Um, otherwise, you'll get just a summary video here shortly after this one. But either way, either way it goes down. I am very glad that you guys are here with me, watching these videos, coming into the woods with me, and uh, experiencing all this. So, as always, links are in the description below. Like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the woods. Baby, come